Hi everyone. Thank you for joining Parkinson Voice Project for today's online Speak Out Home practice session. My name is Samantha Allendary. I'm a speech language pathologist and the founder of Parkinson Voice Project. I'm here to help you establish and maintain a consistent Speak Out Home practice routine. I want to thank all of you who have been providing feedback about these sessions. I want to make sure you know I am reading them and I'm looking at your chat comments and all of that, so thank you. It's helping us to make these sessions even better. Today's topic, everybody read this with intent. Ready? We'll read it together. Tips for managing Parkinson's. Let's say it again with more intent, every word with intent. Tips for managing Parkinson's. And now you say it by yourself. Ready? Every time we speak, we're going to speak with intent. Let's go ahead and take a sip of water with intent, too. Today is also Testimonial Tuesday, and I'm going to show you a wonderful video of Luke, Michael. Uh, many of you practice with Luke on Facebook, and I'm going to show you a video of him. It's, it's incredible. But first, let's do the warm-up. Every syllable with intent, speak out. Ready? May, me, my, mo, mo. Connect the sounds. Ready? May, me, my, mo, mo. Again. May, me, my, mo, mo. Make sure to lift your voice. It should be may, not May, me, my. We don't want to do that. Ready? May, me, my, mo, mo. One more time with more intent. May, me, my, mo, mo. Good. You connect as many as you can. Take a breath when you need to, but don't think about the breathing. Let's grab our cup, our glass, and take a sip of water with intent. You can imagine that you're me and 3,000 people are watching you take a sip of water. I bet you'll use more intent that way. Speak out exercise number two, the ahs. Deliberately open your mouth wide and speak out. Ready? Ah. Good job. Let's do it again. Ready? Ah, your ah is flying forward. Let's do it again. Ah, the sound should be strong and consistent. Don't let it trail off at the end. Let's do one that's a little bit shorter. Ready? Ah. And one more with intent. and the ahs. Take a sip of water with intent. That means think about it. Concentrate. It's important to take plenty of sips of water when you do these exercises. 
We're moving on to speak out exercise number three, the glides. Project out a steady ah, steady, okay? And then start gliding. Here we go. Ah. Ah. Keep the mouth open all the way to the end and keep the sound strong. Let's do it again. Ah. Ah. Good job. Let's do it again. Ready? Ah. Ah. This is not easy. Let's take a sip of water. We're still going to do a couple more, but I need some water and I bet you do too. On a scale of 1 to 10, I want you working at an 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Lots of energy, lots of intent. We're not yelling. We're projecting our voice out. We're speaking out. Let's do another glide. Uh, Let's try to get more of those little notes in there. Glide slowly. Ready? Uh, uh, good job. More water, everyone, with intent. We're going to count to 16. We will connect the numbers and stop at the end of each line. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 16. Connect the numbers. Project every number in front of you with intent. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Let's do this backwards. Ready? Sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We are working hard. Let's take a sip of water.
I'm going to show you a video. Today is Testimonial Tuesday. I have a wonderful video of Luke Michael. Yay, Luke. Uh, when I look to my side, I'm looking at my other screen. Let me show you his video. You will see Luke before he went through Speak Out, and then you will see him five years later. The point being that we can help you not only regain your speech, but help you maintain it. Let's watch this video. Tell me your full name. Luke Michael. And when were you diagnosed with Parkinson's disease? Six years ago. Have you noticed a change in your voice or speech? Uh, yeah. What have you noticed? My voice has almost disappeared. How is it different now from where it, what it was before? Before it was loud, it had bottom end. Now it's all mid-range. Speak Out to me is a number of things. It is an exercise regime that I do for my voice every single day without fail, which keeps my voice strong and it enables me to communicate well. Again, Speak Out for me is what I do every day, every minute of every day, I speak with intent. Isn't that incredible? And that's what I want for all of you too. All right, we're going to move on to our reading exercise. We are building strength and endurance and our Parkinson Voice Advocates, our volunteer group at Parkinson Voice Project, came up with some tips for managing Parkinson's and we're going to go through some of these right now. Let's read these with intent, lots of energy, and stretch out the highlighted words. Here we go. Set the alarm on your phone. Keep a few pills in your car. Okay, it's really important that you stretch out that, those highlighted words. You're using more intent when you do that. Let's read it again. Set the alarm on your phone. Keep a few pills in your car. Next, write about your symptoms in a journal to share with your neurologist. I strongly recommend that. Read it again. Write about your symptoms in a journal to share with your neurologist. Keep in mind that every person with Parkinson's is different. Medications affect everybody differently. So the more information you can give your neurologist, the better. So how you feel when you take the medications, what your symptoms are like before you take them, and, and whether they improve, and how they improve, and how it might change throughout the day. Uh, what you eat might make a difference. So journal for two or three weeks before you have your neurologist appointment. Here's another one. Use grid paper to help with writing. Write letters inside the boxes. I like that idea. Next one. Try using slip-on shoes by Skechers. Let's read it again, more intent. Try using slip-on shoes by Skechers. Next. Exercise and keep moving. Stretch out moving. Let's read it again. Exercise and keep moving. Good job. Oh, I like this one. Ready? Participate daily in Speak Out Home Practice Sessions. Read it again like you really mean it. Ready? Participate daily in Speak Out Home Practice Sessions. Very good. Take a sip of water, everyone. All right, for our cognitive, we're thinking and we're speaking out. What are some tips that you have for having a productive appointment with your neurologist? What are some things you should do to prepare for your appointment? Say every word with intent. All 
Are you speaking with intent? Let's read these together. Prepare notes ahead of time. Arrive early. Bring your calendar. Bring a list of all medications and supplements. By the way, you can download the reading material so that you can have this in writing. Let, all right, how would you, what are some tips for traveling by plane? What are, what are some tips? Say them with intent. Read these together. Schedule flights earlier in the day. Pack medication in your carry-on bag. Use early boarding. Take a non-stop flight when possible. I like that. So we're being very intentional, right? All right, name some Parkinson's resources and programs that have been helpful to you. Say each one with intent. Are you using your best voice? Read these with your best voice. Rock steady boxing. Dance for PD. Parkinson Voice Projects Parkinson's Lecture Series. CarlRob.com. Great resource. Lena, please post the link to our lecture series in case there are some people that are not familiar with that. Over 20 lectures, video pre presentations by Parkinson's experts. You definitely want to check out the lecture series. Let's go ahead and do Dr. Boone's words twice. Every syllable with intent. Ready? Gula ga ga ga. Gula ga ga ga. The next one. Ku ka man gu ka. Exaggerate. Ku ka man gu ka. Ready? Gangla. Gangla. And the last one. Ku kla. Ku kla. Very nice. Take a sip of water. We're going to move on to the bonus reading. This is an excerpt from CarlRob.com, 10 Tips to Improving Your Life with Parkinson's. And what we're going to do, we're going to read this paragraph in two different ways. The first way you will notice that we highlighted the last word in each sentence. The second time we read it, we highlighted the first word. I'm curious which way helps you to read this in a nice, smooth manner. Let's read this with intent. <clears throat> Realize that you are in the driver's seat for your health care. You must be your own best advocate and make sure you are doing your very best. Be proactive with conventional medicine. Skeptical but open to other non-invasive therapies and exhibit a willingness for change. A little hope and faith can go a long way. When you're doing the bonus reading, I have come to really like reading it more than once. Okay, so the first time you got used to the words. Now we're going to read it again, but we're highlighting the beginnings of the sentences. Ready? Realize that you are in the driver's seat for your health care. You must be your own best advocate and make sure you are doing your very best. Be proactive with conventional medicine. Skeptical but open to other non-invasive therapies and exhibit a willingness for change. A little hope and faith 
can go a long way. So when you read that, again, I'd love for you to download the reading material and take what you learned during this session and practice, practice, practice. Normally, if somebody stutters or, or rushes their speech, they will do better if they exaggerate the first word of the sentence. So if you have that challenge, that would be something for you to be practicing. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. You speak with intent, swallow with intent, walk with intent, and do everything with intent, just like Luke does. All right. Bye-bye.